After the appointment of General Nasiri as the Minister of Defense and Armed Forces support in Iran's 14th government, he announced several key defense projects as part of his four-year tenure. Among these projects, the most significant was the completion of the Airborne Radar Project, or the National AWACS, using domestically available aircraft. Given that neighboring countries and Iran's adversaries have been equipping themselves with various advanced 4th plus and 5th generation fighter jets, and that some of these countries have malevolent plans to form military coalitions against Iran, the country has found itself in urgent need of a powerful air force. This air force must include multi-role fighter jets, tactical and strategic transport aircraft, aerial refueling planes, electronic signal and radar wave collection aircraft, reconnaissance aircraft, and, most importantly, an airborne radar system, or AWACS. The concept of using AWACS in Iran dates back to before the Islamic Revolution. Due to the country's unique topography, with towering mountains in the west that interfere with ground radar operations, the Iranian Air Force sought to purchase several E-3 AWACS aircraft from the United States. These aircraft were intended to completely monitor Iran's radar blind spots using airborne radar. However, after the revolution and the cancellation of Iran-US, defense and military contracts by the interim government, the AWACS aircraft, like many other ordered military assets, remained in the United States. In the years that followed, particularly after the end of the Iran-Iraq War and the US invasion of Iraq, two Iraqi AWACS aircraft, codenamed Baghdad and Adnan, fled to Iran. The Baghdad AWACS, which had a radar mounted on its ramp, was repurposed for transport operations after its radar was removed. Meanwhile, the Adnan AWACS, which retained its rotating dish radar mounted on an IL-76 aircraft, served in the Iranian Air Force until a tragic accident. After participating in a military parade, the aircraft crashed, resulting in its loss. In later years, images of a particular model surfaced, showing an Iran-140 aircraft modified with a circular radar dish mounted on top, effectively transforming it into an AWACS. However, due to prolonged delays in the Iran-140 project and its military transport variant, caused by issues such as engine problems, budget constraints, Ukraine's withdrawal from the project, and the aircraft's limited capacity to house necessary equipment, and its restricted operational range, it is likely that this project was shelved, considering Iran's defense needs, the growing airborne and regional threats, the necessity of monitoring the mountainous western regions, and the defense minister's emphasis on using existing platforms. A review of the Iranian Air Force's transport aircraft fleet suggests that only two aircraft within Iran's current military inventory are strong candidates to serve as the country's first national AWACS. The first and most likely candidate is the Iranian Air Force's Ilyushin Il-76. With North Korea's recent activity in modifying an Il-76 to carry a radar, the past presence of the Adnan AWACS in Iran, and the existence of well-established AWACS models such as the Russian A-50 and A-100 and the Chinese KJ-2000, the Il-76 stands as the most probable choice for Iran's future airborne radar platform. The second aircraft under consideration is the Boeing 707. At least one of Iran's Boeing 707 aircraft has been modified with specialized equipment to function as a signal intelligence, SIGINT, aircraft. This modification gives weight to the possibility of selecting this aircraft for the development of an indigenous Iranian E-3 AWACS. However, it must be noted that both the Boeing 707 and the Ilyushin Il-76 aircraft currently available in Iran have been in service for a long time. In addition to necessary upgrades to their flight electronics and airframes, they would also require significant engine overhauls or complete engine replacements. If the Ilyushin Il-76 is chosen as the platform for the airborne radar system, it is likely that Iran's Ministry of Defense would seek defense cooperation with either China or Russia.
Considering the history of both these countries in using this aircraft for similar applications, and the recent satellite imagery showing an IL-76 in North Korea, Iran could upgrade its IL-76 fleet to the IL-76 MD-90A standard through the acquisition of an upgrade kit. Furthermore, collaboration with these countries on specialized onboard electronic systems and the development of a circular radar mounted atop the aircraft would allow Iran to achieve a high-end airborne radar platform. Such an aircraft would have a long operational range and endurance, a radar system highly resistant to enemy electronic warfare, and the ability to scan vast geographical areas potentially up to 500 square kilometers. With these considerations in mind, and given the statements made by Iran's Minister of Defense, it is likely that by the end of the Iranian calendar year 1407, March 2029, Iran will unveil its first domestically produced AWACS. This project could mark the beginning of Iran's defense industry's involvement in the design and manufacture of heavy aircraft for specialized missions through partnerships with countries such as Russia and China. This project could give Iran a huge strategic advantage, but challenges remain. Will Iran successfully integrate advanced airborne radar, or will foreign sanctions slow it down? One thing is clear Iran is determined to boost its air power. What's your take on this development? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates on Iran's military developments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.